हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अंकित शिवारे नाउ वी आर इन द लेक्चर सिक्स ऑफ एनालॉग विल एस आई सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन कट ऑफ लीनियर एंड एक्टिव एंड सेचुरेशन रिजन मोड नाउ कट ऑफ इज जनरली इम्प्लाइज आई डी इज इक्वल टू जीरो जनरली आई डी कंसिस्ट ऑफ लीकेज कंपोनेंट्स दैट इज इन द स्लीपिंग मोड यू कैन से वन बी जी एस एस लेस दैन थ्रेश वोल्टेज सम कंपोनेंट इज देयर एंड इन यू नो इन रेस्ट वॉच डिजाइन वी often use means when vgs is even less is equivalent to suppose less than vth by about 100 millivolt in that also we use designs so that is a different aspect of course right now we are not going to concentrate on that level right so even vgs is less than vth by 100 millivolt we use these type of designs right for wrist watch and uh, because we want that life cycle should be high and uh, we don't require a huge amount of amplification and all these things Uh, and uh, means the power is not power is a big constraint in that type of designs we use this region also so for the time being for our course in this cut off mode we will not be going dealing with further right uh, coming to that perspective in cut off mode actually in that case id is proportional to exponential vgs minus vth and uh, generally what we use here is square law equation but here you, there you will see that id is proportional to exponential vgs so in that region actually that mosfet behavior is equal to an bjt and it's very fast so we generally use it right so it's very interesting uh, we will be discussing in future if suppose possible so coming back to our topic that is second is a linear region so here id is k rho n w by l vgs minus vth vds minus vds square by 2 you should remember this equations for a time being where you know w by l is nothing but aspect ratio okay and uh, these Rho n C X W L L. You know these things like um, Rho n is nothing but mobility of n mos suppose or p mos, and then C X is gate oxide capacitance per unit area. So linear origin operation is in when V G S is greater than V T H, and uh, we coin the term that is overdrive voltage. So overdrive voltage is nothing but when V G S is equal to V G S minus V T H. So this term we will see often in designs. Okay, so one thing remember that in lower technology, even 22 nanometer, you may not be using the direct these equations. But remember that thing that this is very good requirement and for intuitive understanding. Okay, otherwise you will not be able to understand that how we are dealing with the lower technology nodes. Okay, third is the saturation region operation, and uh, here I D is nothing but K rho n W by L. To L, rho n we are coining as is equal to nothing but mu n c u x. Okay, and V G S minus V T H whole square one plus lambda V T S minus V T S set. So lambda here is nothing but channel length modulation. Okay, so channel length modulation effect. So what it does actually that it it uh, when you you want that your transistor should behave like a constant current source, it deviates it a bit. Okay, so uh, what you will see actually that. uh suppose you see this i versus vds curve you are expecting that it should be independent of vds but you will see that this is a slight deviation and that slight deviation that slope if suppose you will see that is nothing but uh, lambda and when you see it is proportional to means lambda is lambda okay and that is proportional to length so mean if suppose length is higher than lambda will be lower and more or more transistor will behave like a actual current source okay so these things you should remember one more thing you remember that uh, lambda is uh, lambda id that is proportional to gds so at constant current source you want that means if suppose you have a constant current source so you want that the resistance that is there that should tends to infinity right and we here are uh, coining this term as here okay so r not should is proportional to 1 by lambda id so remember these things okay so from here is suppose you calculate it so id is proportional to inverse proportional to l and l is also inverse proportional to l so r is proportional to means 1 by l square so if length if length increases then r so r will also increase r is proportional to l square sorry okay r is proportional to l square so these things are very important okay 
now coming to the channel's perspective, so in linear region, suppose you see that high input impedance you will see, okay. So in case of saturation, but in case of linear, what we will see that uh, that that uh, channel has been formed and so resistance has decreased, okay. So this is the case of so VGS should be greater than VTH for linear region operation. Next is the saturation and that is the important uh, important for our understanding that how the saturation behavior is working. So, so here you can see that uh, means the channel has reduced right and it has shifted away from the drain. Okay, so what has actually happened that as you are increasing this VDS, you are increasing VDS, so means a condition has been formed where that this channel cannot exist here, it's not possible, right? So in that case, the channel has shifted by itself. So this constant current source behavior you will observe. So it's a more or less the same case as case of BJT, uh, where you have an emitter-based junction and a collector-based junction, and you are biasing the BJT in case of active region. So what you will see that emitter-based junction behaves like forward bias mode and collector-based junction behaves as reverse bias mode. So it's the same case here you will see. So here you can see in understanding level that it is the forward bias junction and it's a collector is the reverse bias junction. Okay, And this is the active region you can say. But here one more remember that their ID is proportional to exponential VB. So if suppose VB is increased suppose by 1 then it is increased by exponential of 1. Okay, So that is the difference. But here it behaves square law equation with VGS. So what happens is you can see that means this is suppose your gate, this is drain. The gate is at higher potential compared to drain and this is at reverse bias junction. So current whatever is coming here it will not be affected because of drain potential. So VDS will have no effect as VGS is fixed. So this is a constant current source behavior that you will see. But there is some small deviation uh, because of channel the modulation effect. And one more thing that you can see that this is source, this is the gate and ID is proportional to VGS square. That is square law it is falling. And you can see that is a forward bias junction. Okay, So gate is at higher potential compared to source and what it is showing you can see that NP and VGT suppose you see that this will behave like a meter forward bias junction. But here you can see that it is not proportional to exponential VGS. It is proportional to square law equation. Okay, So this is one intuitive understanding where you can relate MOSFET with BJT. MOSFETs are slower devices compared to BJT, but there are many other advantages of MOSFET like the silicon area that it consumes for the same functionality is very very less compared to BJT. Okay, and uh, the um, in silicon dioxide you can grow over MOSFET. That is one one inherent advantage where you can you, know, you can induce or um, means you can have less you can make or make your dielectric constant very high of gate and just you can uh, create the channels right. So that is means that is a physical property of silicon that we are using that is played a great role in making MOSFETs more popular compared to BJT. Okay, so we will be dealing with it further down the course. Hope you are enjoying the course and uh, in future we will be seeing lot of designs, lot of stuff. So please keep yourself in tune with us. Thank you.